Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the OTT Navigator to your Fire Stick. OTT Navigator is an amazing IP2 player that works both with M3U links as well as Xtreme codes. You just open the app, add your playlist in here, and your IPTV works, just like that. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get OTT Navigator to your device. First of all, we'll have to get an app called Downloader. We can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. And in order to do that, we go to search on the Fire Stick and start typing Downloader in the search bar. Now, as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. So let's click on Downloader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you got the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to start the loader, we'll need to go to settings and follow a couple of steps there. So open my Fire TV. And from here, we'll have to go to the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, it's actually pretty easy to make them appear. Just open About, and from here, you will need to select Fire TV Stick and click on the middle button on your remote for seven times. And do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom it says, no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options which have appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, you have to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on our device. There it is, we open it. And here is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Spain right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's super important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for NordVPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So let's go to the list of apps, and of course, open up the loader. Then wait until the app loads for you. And now there is one very important step, is that on the left side menu, make sure that you click on Home and not on Browser. That's important. So make sure to click on Home, and then in that search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the code is 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen, and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake, the code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go, and while the website is loading, 
make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about fire sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the website has opened, we just need to scroll down a bit until we find the list of categories, which is right here. And from the list of categories, we gotta click on IPTV players. So click on them, and then a list of apps is going to open up. Scroll down a bit, and there you'll find the OTT Navigator IPTV player. Yep, there it is. So OTT Navigator, let's click on it. And now a new web page to open, which you also gotta scroll down. After that, keep scrolling until you see the Download Fire TV Android TV button. That's exactly what we're looking for. Click on it, and in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually, it doesn't take long, but of course, it all depends on your connection speed. Then, you have to click on Install and wait until OTD Navigator gets installed to your Fire Stick. And after it was installed, do not click on Open yet, instead, press on Done. Here, we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on delete, and then delete once again. This way, we get rid of unnecessary installation files from the Fire Stick and save you some free space on your device. And that's super important, because by default, you don't really have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. Now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, open it, then scroll down, and here you'll find the OTT Navigator, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, OTT Navigator is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. And now, let's open the OTT Navigator itself. So the setup is pretty easy, if you have an M4U link from your Live TV provider, and by the way, there are thousands of different Live TV providers in the world, so it's totally up to you which one to choose. Because this player by default, it does not have any content inside, it's just an IPTV player, but you have to get your playlist somewhere else. So after you get a playlist, most likely it's going to be of the M4U playlist uh, format, so in that case, you click on Add a playlist, and here in that URL address bar, you just enter the link that your live TV provider gave you. After that, you click on apply, and the playlist is going to appear in the app. However, it's also possible to use other ways of adding playlists to this application. To do that, you would need to go to the generic middleware server, click on it, and here, for example, you can use the extreme codes, in that case, you would enter the link that your provider gave you and the login with password, which also were given to you by your provider. And also, there are options to use the Tesbo Astra, Mac Portal, and Stalker Portal. So, that was the guide on how to set up the OTT Navigator. Hope it was helpful, and see you next time. Bye-bye.